Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be discussing an amazing project on GitHub called Baby AGI. The system uses OpenAI and Pinecone APIs to autonomously create, prioritize, and execute tasks. It's currently the number one trending repo on GitHub, followed by AutoGPT, which I discussed in my previous videos. I'll be going over general concept and give you demo of how it works on my local system. So stick around until the end. So let's have a look at the repo first. Here in the readme section, you'll find that the objective says that the main idea behind the system is that it creates task based on the result of the previous task and predefined objective. The script then uses OpenAI capabilities to create new task based on the objective and Pinecone to store and retrieve task result for context. This is actually a pared down version of the original task driven autonomous agent, which was released on March 28th. So let's have a look how it works. So you will have a task list first and it will first pull the first task from the list. It will send the task to the execution agent, which is actually an open AI to complete that task. Once that task is completed, it will result, it will store the result in Pinecone and then it will create new task and then it will reprioritize the task list based on the objective and result from the previous task and the cycle goes on. Then we have how to use section. Uh, it is very uh, straightforward to set. Uh, you just need a Pinecone API key and uh, OpenAI API keys and that's all and you can easily able to run this. So before I get into demo, I wanted to discuss very important point here. So we have something called warning here and you need to make sure that you don't leave your system unattended because this task will run continuously and you may have a huge API usage bill. Okay, so be careful when you're using this. So to run this demo on your local, you need to clone this repo. So I've cloned this here. You need to change this .env .example to .env file. You will find that you have open API key, pine open, uh, pinecone API key, then pinecone environment, table name, and some objective. So I have set the objective as build a simple carousel component using HTML, CSS, and JS. Build a, and the first task is build a carousel component and save it in output folder. If output folder doesn't exist, create it. So remember one thing, it is not going to physically create anything. It is just going to run it and give us the steps about that. Okay, so how we will get the open API keys. Uh, you must be aware of that. You just need to go to console of uh, open AI and get it from there. And we will not change the table name. It will remain the test table here for Pinecone. You just uh, create an account. Uh, you can use the free tier. Uh, that's more than enough for us. And you will come to your API section. You will find this environment where it is hosted for you. You will provide that detail uh, over here. Okay. And next detail is your API key, which you can copy it from here and update the file. So let me update this field and I'll run this script. So I have updated all the API keys. So let's go ahead and run this. So you'll see here uh, we have the objective picked up, uh, build a simple carousel, and we have a task list here. So we have provided one task. So it has picked up that task and it is going to run that task. And we have the task result now that it will build a carousel component and so on. So you can see now it has created another list task list and it is starting to pick task number two. It has picked up task number three now and we have task results here again. So it has picked up uh, task number four, style the carousel component using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So I will begin by taking the existing HTML, CSS and JavaScript, so on. Uh, the next task was uh, make the carousel component responsive. So I will use CSS media queries to make this carousel component responsive. This is awesome. I mean, this is really a spark of AGI. We don't have to do anything. It is doing everything by uh, its own. Uh, and there are people who are integrating this system with other things. So that's great. Let's have a look at another task. Uh, add a feature to allow the user to jump to a specific item in the carousel. So you can see, uh, right? Uh, it is so smart that first it picked up a sim small task. Then it made a number of task list based on that. And then after result, it made another list of tasks and it the cycle keeps going on. And it has picked up task number 10. Now it has picked up task number 11. So let me just go ahead and terminate this because if I don't, it will continue to run like this and my bill will go up. So I'll just show you that uh, I've run this few times and this is the usage uh, for me. So this is currently $0.75. Uh, after this task, it will go around one or, or more than that. Okay, let us let me terminate this now. Now you know how the demo works and how this uh, system works. So let me share you a few more important details. I will share the thread of Twitter uh, about this task-driven auto autonomous agent and this baby AGI. 
you must go through this and you should see that you know people are really implementing it in a different way and experimenting it and building a new system uh, so please go ahead and read this and there is a paper about this this is a 5 6 minute paper read so if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video thank you